my quilting friends. My name is Leah Day and we are quilting butterfly wings today. This is an oldie goldie design from the Free Motion Quilting Project and it starts out with just a random shape and then we're gonna pivot and echo around that. So a butterfly wing shape is exactly what you want it to be. For me, I like something that kind of looks like one half of a butterfly wing. I'm gonna stitch that now. So I kind of branch out and then I kind of just wiggle back and forth, creating kind of a eh, curvy triangle, <laughs> you know, and it can be as complex or as simple as you want. You can make that a swallowtail butterfly. You can make that a moth shape. It's really entirely up to you. And this is a pivoting design. So you just pivot and echo around it to expand the design until it fills up lots of space on your quilt. So this is a clustering style design. As you can see, you fill in the space by forming more of these butterfly wing shapes. Sometimes you're gonna have like narrow areas to fill in, in which case you're just gonna create a smaller or more narrow butterfly wing shape. And if the idea of a butterfly wing doesn't really work for you, then you could think ginkgo leaves, you know, anything along those lines, but it doesn't have to be rigid. The nice thing about this design is it just allows you to quilt a fun freeform shape and then pivot and echo it, filling in your quilting space with lots of echoes, a good bit of travel stitching, which I think really just adds to the design, really makes it stand out, look pretty on your quilts. And there's really no right or wrong way to do this because the design is so freeform and fluid, you can pretty much start with anything. Now, if you want more of a teardrop shape design, definitely check out my design called Lava Paisley. That design is more of an amoeba shape based on a teardrop. This is more of a triangle or a heart shape. So there's lots of variation within this and please understand it's no wrong or right way really to stitch it. That's the wonderful thing about it. So now that I've given this a try on a home sewing machine and really on this scale, this is for art quilts, uh, wall hangings, really to add lots of pretty texture to the background of a quilt, maybe even in the border but you can expand this and kind of increase the size of each of these shapes. And this would be a perfect all over bed fill. So let's give this a try on a much bigger machine, my Cunique 19X Elite Long Arm, and see how this works on a much bigger scale. So let's get started stitching some butterfly wings. I'm gonna get started with a very large wing shape. Come back to my starting line and then now pivot and echo around that. And I'm aiming for about eh, a little bit more than a half of an inch between those lines of stitching. My initial butterfly wing shape, you can see was about three inches wide uh, by about two inches tall. So let's see if I can go around this again. What's nice, I just realized this is such a free form shape, no one's gonna know if you accidentally stitched it wiggly wobbly. I mean, it's kind of the point, right? <laughs> so this is a very, very forgiving design and a great way to practice pivoting and echoing without it having to look perfect. And the key here on a long arm is spacing. You want this nice and big if you're putting this on a bed quilt. So you can see how much, how big, just the, how, the size and scale of the design. And as long as you're working and keeping those shapes nice and big, I think you're gonna end up in the right, in the right shape. So now I'm branching out in this direction, swirling out, and I'm gonna come all the way back in. Let's do a little bit of travel stitching. This is a great design to practice some travel stitching too. That wasn't perfect, but that's okay. It's the best I can stitch it today. No worries. The nice thing is that that little bit of buildup of thread definitely adds to the drama of butterfly wings, but if you can't do it, that's okay. If you struggle with that a little bit like me, what you can do is you can kind of just hit and pivot and go off in another direction. Uh, you can also turn this into a shortcut design. What that means is you get close but you don't actually connect. So I call that, whenever I do that with a design, I call that a shortcut. So we have Paisley shortcut, uh, part Paisley shortcut, all of those are very, very useful. 
so that you can just avoid the travel stitching versus stitching you know something messy on your quilt so overall i would say butterfly wings very forgiving absolutely perfect bed quilting design stitch it on a large scale stitch it on a small scale it's going to be a terrific design to add to your quilting repertoire so definitely give this a try and send me a picture i'd really love to see it if you are following along and stitching along with us you can find my website and contact us at leahday.com until next time let's go quilt